Oh, we're two years into this investigation. We're a year and a half into the presidency. We're over a year into special counsel. You have a counterintelligence investigation that's become public. You have a criminal investigation that's become political. You have more bias than I have ever seen manifest in a law enforcement officer in the 20 years I used to do it for a living. And four other DOJ employees who had manifest animus towards the person they were supposed to be neutrally and detachedly investigating. Democrats are using this investigation as a presumption of guilt, which I, I find astonishing. And in the long run for the health of this republic, I would encourage them to go back to the presumption of innocence that we used to hold sacred. There's a presumption of guilt. There's a desire by Democrat senators to fundraise off of your investigation. More than 60 Democrats have already voted to proceed with impeachment before Bob Mueller has found a single solitary damn thing. More than 60 have voted to move forward with impeachment, and he hasn't presented his first finding. So I'm going to say this to you, Mr. Ray, Mr. Rosenstein. I realize that neither one of you were there when this happened, but you're both there now. Uh, Russia attacked this country. They should be the target, but Russia isn't being hurt by this investigation right now. We are. This country is being hurt by it. We are being divided. We've seen the bias. We've seen the bias. We need to see the evidence. If you have evidence of wrongdoing by any member of the Trump campaign, present it to the damn grand jury. If you have evidence that this president acted inappropriately, present it to the American people. Uh, there's an old saying that justice delayed is justice denied. I think right now all of us are being denied. Whatever you got, finish it the hell up because this country is being torn apart.